Hey, my trendies, trendsetters, and my trendy tribe. Looks like Dusty Dan, shout out to Here for High Tea for the name, has struck again. And um, you'll see it around if you don't know what I'm talking about. And it happened yesterday. You've seen it. If you haven't, you will. There's been a poem um, that I have thought of a long time about Down Bad Destiny. And this morning felt like the perfect time to go ahead and release it. I, I don't know, but Here for High Tea may have also been inspired by this poem. But we're going to go, you know, this is this is a tribute to Down Bad Destiny, a.k.a. Dusty Dan. And today, Dusty Dan shall be referred to as Dirty Dan. So, yeah. Sit back and enjoy this reading, this adaptation for Down Bad Destiny. Oh, I'm Dirty Dan, the world's dirtiest woman. I never have taken a shower. I can't see my shirt. It's so covered with dirt. And my ears have enough to grow flowers. But the water is either a little too hot or else it's a little too cold. I'm musty and dusty and patchy and scratchy and mangy and covered with mold. But the water is always a little too hot or else it's a little too cold. I live in a pen with five hogs and a hen and three squizzly lizards who creep in. My bed and they itch as I squirm and I twitch in the cruddy old sheets that I sleep in. If you look down my throat with a flashlight, you'd note that my insides are coated with rust. I creak when I walk and I squeak when I talk. And each time I sneeze, I blow dust. The thought of a towel and some soap makes me howl. And when people have something to tell me, they don't come and tell it. They stand back and yell it. I think they're afraid they might smell me. The bed bugs that leap on me sing me to sleep. And the garbage flies buzz me awake. They're the best friends I've found and I fear they might drown. So I never go too near a lake. Each evening at nine, I sit down to dine with the termites who live in my chair. And I joke with the bats and have intimate chats with the cooties who crawl through my hair. I'd brighten my life if I just found a man, but I fear that that will never be until I can find a man gentle and kind with a beautiful face and a sensitive mind who sparkles and twinkles and glistens and shines and who's almost as dirty as me. Okay.